In 1983, pioneering AIDS activists agreed the Denver Principles Manifesto, which rejected the notion that people living with HIV were victims and made it clear that they had a central role to play in all aspects of the AIDS response. This was an historic first step towards the greater involvement of people with HIV, GIPA, principle, which promotes the meaningful participation of people living with HIV. That principle, where communities led, has guided significant strides forward. That is reflected in the fact that the number of people on antiretroviral treatment worldwide rose almost fourfold from 7.7 .7 million in 2010 to 29.8 million in 2022. Yet every minute in 2022, AIDS claimed a life and 9.2 people living with HIV did not have access to treatment. Unfortunately, rates of new infections and deaths are not falling rapidly. Enough to meet the Sustainable Development Goal target to end AIDS as an epidemic by the end of this decade. What is AIDS? Human Immunodeficiency Virus, HIV, is an infection that attacks the body's immune system. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, AIDS, is the most advanced stage of the disease. HIV targets the body's white blood cells weakening the immune system. HIV can be transmitted via the exchange of a variety of body fluids from people living with HIV, such as blood, breast milk, semen and vaginal secretions. HIV can also be transmitted during pregnancy and delivery to the child. People cannot become infected through ordinary day-to-day -day contact such as kissing, hugging, shaking hands, or sharing personal objects, food or water. HIV can be treated and prevented with antiretroviral therapy, ART. Untreated HIV can progress to AIDS, often after many years. What is ART? There is no cure for HIV infection. It is treated with antiretroviral drugs, which stop the virus from Replicating in the body. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, is a combination of medications used to treat HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. It works by stopping HIV from reproducing. It can reduce levels of HIV and keep immune system healthy. It's not a cure, but many people reach undetectable levels of HIV. World AIDS Day, in August 1988, James W. Bunn and Thomas Netter, Public Information Officers for the AIDS Global Program of the World Health Organization, initiated World AIDS Day to address the devastating HIV-AIDS pandemic. With an estimated 90,000 to individuals HIV positive in 1988, they proposed the idea to Dr. Jonathan Munn, director of the AIDS Global Program, who approved it for 1st December. Since the 1990s advancements in research and medical partners have significantly improved the care of people living with HIV. World AIDS Day Theme 2023 The theme for World AIDS Day 2023 let communities lead underscores the pivotal role that communities play in shaping the global HIV response. This theme emphasizes the collective strength and influence of communities in driving initiatives related to HIV awareness, prevention and healthcare. Year-by-year -year theme of World AIDS Day World AIDS Day 2022 Theme Equalize World AIDS Day 2021 Theme and Inequalities End AIDS End Pandemics World AIDS Day 2020 Theme Global Solidarity Shared Responsibility
World AIDS Day 2019 theme, Communities Make the Difference. World AIDS Day 2018 theme, Know Your Status. World AIDS Day 2017 theme, My Health, My Right. World AIDS Day 2023 Message We pay tribute to the diseased, offer support to those coping with HIV-AIDS, and reiterate our determination to eradicate stigma today. Together, let's work to stop new HIV infections, guarantee treatment access, and assist all individuals impacted by HIV-AIDS. To put a stop to the HIV-AIDS epidemic, education and awareness are essential. Understanding saves lives. Discrimination and stigma have no place in the battle against HIV-AIDS. It's time to show compassion, understanding and support. Let's commit on this World AIDS Day to promote prevention, testing, and treatment to eradicate HIV from the next generation. Keeping in mind the value of empathy and unity in aiding those impacted by HIV-AIDS, both as individuals and as communities. Everyone is entitled to high-quality medical care and HIV prevention programs. Let's ensure no one is left behind. Together, we can overcome the obstacles presented by HIV-AIDS and build a world in which everyone enjoys good health. Let's take down obstacles and give people the confidence to get tested, treated and cared for without fear. Increasing awareness now will lead to better health tomorrow. We can eradicate HIV-AIDS together.